All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Corey Dowds, I have the Veda. Okay, so we're here to talk about eclipses. This is part three of 2020 eclipse predictions video. Now, I wanted to talk about the changing of the guard and the corrupt uh, you know, Capricorn figures that have all been falling. That's gonna have to wait for a moment for another video because basically over the weekend, my city got destroyed and got lit on fire and stuff. Um, and basically there's been riots going on around all, all the major cities. This is very, very wild and crazy to me because the eclipse cycles seem to bring out these riots a lot. Okay, so I have a lot I wanted to talk about in this video, but the first thing that we need to make clear to you guys is that the eclipses are the biggest mundane events for the year, you know, and they're like the, the biggest full moon and new moons of the year, you could say. And so these have six month long impacts really, but the, the closer you get to that eclipse period, when all these planets start getting close to Rahu and Ketu, is when you start to see the really intense events come out, okay? So, um, like whenever I'm predicting things for, re for people, you know, and it, when it's near an eclipse, that's more of a period of compromise and, you know, you may not get what you want there. <sighs> So let's just think about this. So um, I'm going to share with you guys some images here, but basically the, the Ferguson riots that happened, um, these happened back in 2014. These happened when, again, like more police brutality was going on to uh, um, basically a, a, a man named Michael Brown was shot by a police officer. Um, and it was completely unnecessary. And so there was a huge riot that went out. And the first riot started started basically all throughout the month of the middle and to the end of August. And then there was an eclipse within a month of that, like October 3rd. So I was about a month away. But then they really revved up. The second wave was when basically the officer didn't get in trouble, really. He was like acquitted or dropped or they didn't indict him. I forget the details. But he kind of got off, and so people were like, what? And then another riot happened. So as you um, can see here, I'll show the, the date. It's from November 24th to December 2nd, 2014. So, um, you know, when was the eclipses in, back in 2014? Well, the eclipses were, hap they, the solar eclipse happened on October 23rd, 2014. And there was again like a lunar eclipse on October 3rd or so. So we had a huge eclipse and we had these riots. Okay. And then, um, do you remember when we had all those other race riots going on back in 2017 in the summer in, um, Charlottesville, Virginia, basically there was a big like neo-Nazi white supremacist, um, unite the right rally that happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. And it turned into, uh, it got pretty messy and stuff, and, and that happened on August 11th and 12th of 2017. When was the Great American Eclipse? It was August 21st, 2017. Right, kind of seeing the pattern here. So um, then we look at now, okay, when did the George Floyd uh, protests and the, you know, whatever they're calling this, the Twin City riots and stuff start happening? That started May 26th to present. So for the last six days. And when is the next eclipse? June 5th, 2020. That is like five more days from now. So again, this happened within a fortnight of an eclipse, okay? I really hope you guys are seeing the pattern here, all right? Eclipses bring out really intense stuff they bring out our demons see that's the thing is that rahu and k2 are the eclipsing planet the eclipse factors rahu and k2 are described as demons in the mythology they are basically rahu and k2 symbolize where our demons or our psychological issues are at and where we have the most stuff to work out most negative karma to work out even ancestral karma even very faded karma all your heaviest karma connects to those things in the chart and Another angle of this is that I know some of y'all might think I'm tripping, but the elite, the elite world is definitely run by occultists. And if you don't want to believe me, you probably don't know as much about the occult as me. But if you knew as much about the occult as me, you would, 
you would not you would agree with me here that there are the majority of people that run the elite world are very very old families that go back way before Christianity and this was what you did okay and so they still do their rituals and all these things and so this is the time when the elite the one percent whatever you want to call it the the grabblers at the top they like to do all their rituals in order to secure their power and dominion for the next six month cycle okay until the next eclipse and they do more rituals to keep their power going to be able to continue oppressing us <laughs> if you want to put it that way and so right now is that time and so honestly like i just want to say this like right now is a time when everyone me everyone included the our demons can get the best of us okay and so we really need to be as careful and as conscious and as clear as we can be at this time we really need to do our best not to be reactionary you know watch how we react watch how watch what we're thinking and just it's a good time to be cautious with that being said though i totally understand the reason for all the unrest I just am concerned that it can get sabotaged or sidetracked by these so-called agent provocateurs, people who are actually supposedly being paid or hired to come in to incite violence in these riots in order to delegitimize the entire movement and to keep anything from being done about it because they can just say, oh, well, they're all violent and now, you know, that we need to be even more strict with police or something. And so, you know, this has gone on for many, many years. And, you know, there were talks back in 2017 that the white supremacists and the Antifa people got off on the same bus. There are so many people that swear that they saw that happen. Um, and, you know, these things do happen. So it's really an important time to be careful and to be cautious right now, you guys. Um, and think for yourself and be impartial and don't trust the media too much or anyone too much just think for yourself and do what you know to be right in your heart just be a good person common sense sort of things right now let's talk a little bit more in depth about this eclipse though we've looked at how the proximity to the riots is absurd uh, between the eclipse events and then these major riots that have happened over a few years um over the last you know last 10 years in America. What's really interesting is that the eclipse is happening in Gemini and Sagittarius. And so Rahu is in Gemini. Rahu shows where we need to be detoxing and where we need to put more attention to what the part of our body that has got a weakness or the part of our lives that has got a weakness or a health issue we need to pay more attention to. Basically Rahu is like kind of synonymous with like the word like detoxing like you need to detox from that area or change it or it needs to be fixed so on the one hand Jim and I rules media and the flow of information and I talked about this already I could share his Facebook post I made some predictions about media there's gonna be a lot of great regulations and changes with the flow of information media and of course we've heard now how Trump is threatening to suspend Twitter and all of that um, but it's also like we have to pay attention to how the media is distorting everything just in general, not just social media and all their fact checkers and all that corruption going on there. Um, think about how the mainstream media is trying to manipulate this into just being about rioters when, you know, it's not about the fact that our country is basically built on a lie right now that says all people are equal, but we just watched the complete opposite of that happen. We just watched a police officer brutally places knee on a man's neck for nine minutes staring at the camera with no remorse while other black people filmed it and were outrageous and they and he 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 had no remorse you know what i mean he looked as if he was standing on a deer he had shot there's no way he would have behaved that way if that was a white man just saying that you can disagree with me but there is no way that he would have done that if he was a white man I mean, it was over a $20 counterfeit bill. There's no way that anything, like, there was no way that he wouldn't even probably arrested him if it was a white man. Um, and so the media is kind of like really not that, you, you got to just be really careful with Rahu and Gemini because it means we need to detox from the media or we need to, we need to fix what's going on in the media. So not just with social media and how it does, you know, I'm not a 
I'm not a conservative, but it's true that social media does actually silence conservative voices. Like whether we like them or not, that's not right. You know what I mean? Like if you're just dumb, I just don't follow you. I don't want you to be silenced. You know what I mean? For being an idiot and having a dumb opinion that's misinformed. No, just be misinformed, but don't be silenced. That's awful. That's not what America's about. America here has a bill of rights with freedom of speech. And that is just the way it is here, or you can leave, you know? And, um, so again, like it's, we really need to be careful about the media and this is, uh, and how they're tweaking things and how things are being, you know, spun and all. But what's also interesting is that, you know, Gemini is the sign of not just the media, but it's the sign of the neck and the arms. And the neck is like this mobility, like where you tweak and turn and you get more mobility. And Gemini is about adaptability and looking around. It's a dual sign. Like, ooh, let's look here, let's look there. You know, that's what you use the neck for. It's also the sign of the arms, all the things we can do, reach out to do. It's about expression and, you know, the pair, the twins, they symbolize that. How crazy is it that Minneapolis is where these riots started and Minneapolis is called the Twin Cities or the Twin City because it's right next to that other neighboring city that they annexed. But um, Gemini is the sign of the twins, right? So Gemini is the sign of the twins. Rahu's in the sign of the twins. The Twin City gets lit up on fire and gets destroyed during this eclipse. How crazy is that? My last video, I talked about fire. I talked about danger from fire. And especially with in cities, Gemini, remember, because Gemini rules cities, and Sag has to do with, I don't know if I said this, but, because sometimes I take notes, or like, I don't know if I fully express everything, but if I didn't, Sag is the place of, Sag represents like institutions, it represents uh, like churches, it represents wide open spaces, but also like places of cultural significance, and because Sag rules culture, and it also rules places where weapons are stored, like armories, like police stations could technically fall under Sagittarius. It's the bowman. Only sign of the zodiac with a weapon. So it's a, it also rules places where wealth or weapons are stored. So isn't that crazy that we had K2 there. K2 gives the results of Mars. We had a, in a fire sign. We had fire. Literally police stations in Minneapolis were lit on fire and on other precincts around the nation. Now, let's get back to the neck thing. Mobility, stretching. What was it that the officer put his knee on? What was it that the officer put his pressure on to hurt this man? He literally is pressing down on his neck, on his Gemini. And he killed him doing that, okay? So literally, in the Zodiac, we have the sun shaming Venus right now. That wouldn't have been enough to cause all this going on, but since it's under an eclipse period, under that umbrella... And we have this shame going on of Sun and Venus, and I think Mercury was also shamed for a while. Um, I don't know if it was ashamed at that time or not, but we know Venus was. And what did what did we see? We saw a sun-like figure, an authority, a police officer, law, the man, the white man, all that stuff, you know, He's symbolizing the sun kind of. We saw him shaming this black man for like no reason. And the black man would be Venus because Venus represents individual freedoms and individual values and freedom of expression, especially in Gemini. Yeah. So we saw that this entire event erupted because of intense pressure and perhaps even, you know, shaming cruel pressure on the neck the Gemini area, um, and he's posing in this photo, you know, and he's got his hands in his pockets, it's like, seriously, oh my god, and then like, one guy tries to get next to him at one point, and he pulls out a knife, he's like, Argh! you know what I mean, it's like, whoa, this guy is a psychopath, you know what I mean, and uh, anyways, um, it's it, it really is terrifying to know that these people are supposed to be the defenders of the law in our nation, so anyways, Minneapolis is the twin city, Gemini is the sign of the twins. Gemini also rules cities in general. So all these cities have been getting lit up, but especially Minneapolis, the twin city. Gemini also um, can rule the northeast direction. So I was concerned about New York City going on. I know there was a lot that's gone on in New York City, and I haven't even had time to read all the reports. But we are probably going to see more scary events going on in New York City as well, to be honest with you. <coughs> um yeah, so 
one more thing I wanted to mention with this is that with this eclipse, um, okay, so I'm going to take this back to like Babylonian times, you know, so the Babylonians had studied the eclipses for supposedly like a ridiculously long time that mainstream doesn't even believe we were a civilized civilization for that long, but the Babylonians claim to have really, really ancient records, and they developed this series of watching the eclipses that are based on the sorrow cycle. So all eclipses are actually part of like this long chain of a certain type of eclipse that will happen all the way across the equator, like from the South Pole all the way up to the North Pole, and from the North all the way down to the South Pole, there's these chains of eclipses. And the Babylonians actually noticed that they all had similar themes connected to them. And so this, uh, see the last eclipse cycle was a three south one. It was very ugly and very bad, which is why we had all the corona. You saw, I mentioned all that. Um, you saw the image, if I didn't show it, the omen of the devil horns before the eclipse, you know what I mean, back in January. Very gnarly negative omens going on. And, you know, like all astrologers pretty much predicted, like the, so many of us predicted the financial collapse, all this stuff. My teacher predicted the collapse of the medical field at this time and all this stuff. Um, that one was described as basically, um, it brings sudden, sudden endings and sudden endings of associations and, or of relationships. And, um, there is a large, uh, it says there's a large emotional component involved in traumatic transformation and it can have to do with short journeys undertaken and news received. So again, like it was due to the travel that the virus spread and all the short journey, short distance traveling that it spread really quickly and the me, the media, the news, like all this confusion, no one knew what to think, you know? Um, that really had a lot of relevance, I think. And then this eclipse cycle is SS4 North, Sorrow Cycle 4 North. It started back in 1389 and it won't end until 2633. So it's like, these are all like these long patterns this one is, this is how they describe it. And this is coming from a book called uh, Predictive Astrology, The Eagle and the Lark. This is a very, very good book for um, Western predictive style astrology and eclipse stuff. Um, for this one, restriction, inhibition, restraint, separation, and illusions are trademarks of this family of eclipses. So it's a pretty bad one too. Events can occur which seem to block the individual. Think about how much the, all this protesting, it's all about individual rights being blocked and individual freedoms and individual or, or equality, which is again about individual rights. And honestly, it's like it's it's more than just about this guy getting shot. You know what I mean? Like when you really think about what's going on, it's not just about this one man who got shot. Everyone is mad right now. It's all about the corruption. It's all about the ruling class and they're restraining us. You know what I mean? And the inhibition of these freedoms while we watch the elite get richer, like Jeff Bezos making billions more during the quarantine when he could literally just fix this country. He could literally pay for everything that was destroyed to be fixed and it would not even be noticeable in his bank account. But anywho, um, so events can occur which seem to block the individual, you know, like your your values, what you like, you know, what you what you're a, oh, you're a white person, you're a black person, these individual qualities. And this blocking of the individual, they're very prone to misjudge his or her strengths or the situation and is best advised to wait until the eclipse passes before taking any real action. This is a difficult sorrow series. So, um yeah, it looks like it is a very difficult cycle, an eclipse cycle that we're in. And I think that part of the advice given here is why a lot of wise figures have been saying, look, you guys, be careful. Like, let's, you know, let's make sure we fill out our census before we go and riot stuff and make sure our voice is heard in that way. You know what I mean? I think that's a very good idea. And I agree with that. Um, so we do have to be really careful and cautious and try not to be too reactionary. But at the same time, to be clear, I grew up in a family of small business owners down in the market. They just bashed all those windows and I'm honestly, bash them again if you need to, because I understand. Like I I really hate seeing the, the small businesses being destroyed. Even a lot of them are minority owned, it sucks. But don't let the media twist that and make it all about that when, no, it actually sucks much more that our country is based on a lie right now. Our country just, 
is just told the biggest lie ever and it's not trying to do anything about that so until it does that is more important until you know you someone can't just step on my neck because of the color of my skin and just decide to stay that way until I'm dead until that stops happening then yeah I get, breaking glass is not that big of a deal to me even though I'm like I have a very personal stake in it because I literally like I've said on my videos before I used to run run a leather shop on the market it's closed now it's gone now <laughs> thank God Saturn doesn't have me doing that job anymore but I really get it is what I'm trying to say and um it's it's really really hard to watch that video and not be outraged so I just I you know my best advice is everyone just be as conscious as you can and you know do the smart things you know you can do to make your voice heard to fill out your census to like vote to do all these things and then go and then if you want to protest protest peacefully and don't shame others for if they're going to be breaking stuff or whatever, but also watch out for these uh, agent provocateurs or whatever, because there's actually a lot of evidence that all these different cities have had these um, people pay, pay people coming in who, you know, there are a lot of parties that want to destabilize this movement so that nothing happens. And so that, you know, well, whatever, so that the rich can get richer and the corrupt can stay corrupt. But there are a lot of, there's a lot of evidence of that. Uh, I'm not going to go into that here, but you know, think for yourself and be careful. And, uh, yeah, and I'll talk about the changing of the guard stuff and the more coronavirus focused video in the next one. Um, okay. Thanks you guys.